If two variables appear to have a linear relationship, then we can model that relationship using linear regression. For example, let's say we wanted to investigate the relationship between the age of a chicken and the number of eggs that it lays in a month. We collect data on a scatter diagram and it shows a weak negative correlation between the two variables. And if we wanted to predict the number of eggs that a chicken of any age would lay, we'd need to draw a line of best fit through the data. And so linear regression is all about finding and using the equation of that line of best fit. And for linear regression, the line of best fit will always be a straight line, which means that its equation will always be of the form y equals a plus bx. Therefore, for negatively correlated data, b, the gradient of the line, will be negative, and for positively correlated data, b will be positive. So back to the original example, let's say that the equation of the line of best fit is given as y equals 13.5 minus 0.076x, where y represents the number of eggs that a chicken lays in a month, and x represents the age of the chicken. So now if we wanted to estimate the number of eggs that a chicken, which is 60 months old, would lay, we'd simply plug in 60 into the equation. So that comes out as 8.94, which is approximately 9. Making predictions inside of the range of data that we have is called interpolation, and it gives a fairly reliable result. However, if you wanted to estimate the number of eggs that a chicken, which is 100 months old, would lay, you'd be estimating outside of the range of data. And that's called extrapolation. Extrapolation is much less reliable than interpolation because you'd have to assume that the regression line would still hold. It turns out that we can also use linear regression to make predictions in nonlinear data, specifically for data of the form y equals ax to the n, or y equals kb to the x. And in order to do this, we need to make one extra step. We need to code the data. So we've got the two possible equations uh, describing the relationship of the data. So remember, x and y are the variables, and so a, n, k, b are all constants. So when coding these, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the log of both sides. So log y is equal to log ax to the n, and log y is equal to log kb to the x. So now having logged both sides, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to use one of our log laws, which is log a plus log b is equal to log ab but we're going to work from right to left. So log a x to the n is equal to log a plus log x to the n. And for this one here, we've got log y is equal to log k plus log b to the x. So we've just used one log law here, log a plus log b equals log ab. We're now going to use another log law. So this is the power law. So log a to the power b is equal to b log a. And that's going to be useful for this term of this equation and this term of this equation. So we're going to get log y is equal to log a plus n log x uh, for this equation. And for this one, we've got log y is equal to log k plus x log b. And this is what we wanted to reach, because at this point, we can now make a substitution. So instead of plotting y against x, as we did in the previous example, we would in fact want to plot log y as on the y-axis, log x on the x-axis, which means that n becomes the gradient of the line and log a becomes the y-intercept. So you can see we've kind of got a y equals mx plus c going on here. And if we do the same thing for the y equals kb to the x, we're going to get again plot log y on the y-axis, 
and this time we're plotting x on the x-axis. So we're plotting um, log y against x, which means that log b is your gradient, m, and log k is the y-intercept. And so in fact, having coded the data, we're able to use linear regression because we end up with two straight lines. So we'll now go through an example to demonstrate the use of linear regression for nonlinear data. The time t in milliseconds needed for a computer algorithm to determine whether a number n is prime is recorded for different values of n. A scatter graph of t against n is drawn. So we can tell from the graph that the relationship between t and n is not linear, which tells us that this problem will involve coding. The data is coded using the changes of variable y equals log t and x equals log n. The regression line is found to be y equals minus 0.301 plus 0.6x. Find an equation of t in terms of n in the form t equals a times n to the k. So in this problem we're actually starting off with the regression line and working back to get the relationship between t and n. So we're starting off with y is equal to minus 0.301 plus 0.6x. And the first thing we need to do is substitute in um, the changes of variable. So y is equal to log t. And x is equal to log n. And so now we're left with an equation in terms of logs. So in order to get rid of the logs, we're going to have to raise 10 to the power of both sides. Because when log is written like this, the implied base is base 10. So both of these are log base 10. So we're going to raise 10 to the power of both sides. So 10 to the log t and 10 to the minus 0.301 plus 0.6 log n. So on the left hand side, the 10 and the log will cancel their inverse functions. So t is equal to, and then on the right, we're going to have, we're going to use exponent laws here. So 10 to the a plus b is equal to 10 to the a times 10 to the b. So we use that, if we apply that rule here, we get t equals 10 to the minus 0.301 times 10 to the positive 0.6 log n. So for this term, in order to cancel the 10 and the log, I'm going to first apply the power rule. So I'm going to bring the 0.6 to the power of n. So that's log a to the b equals b log a. I'm essentially going from right to left here. So 0.6 as the power of n, and then I'll be able to cancel the 10 and the log. So t is equal to 10 to the power of minus 0.301 multiplied by, uh, when the 10 and the log cancel, we're left with n to the 0.6. 10 to the minus 0.301 comes out quite nicely as 0.5. So our final answer is t equals 0.5 times n to the 0.6.